Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Now in this one, we're gonna be taking a really quick look on how to uh, SSH to a server, a computer, whatever you want to SSH to. Now SSH is a protocol where you can connect to another computer and use a terminal as the user that you logged into. Now, if you're using Linux, any distribution of Linux, a Mac OS or WSL on Windows, you can just open up a terminal and here we can type SSH, then we're gonna type the user that we want to use on the server we're going to connect to. Now the server that I, in my case, are going to connect to right now is a Raspberry Pi, so the user by default is Pi. And then we're gonna do add. Now we're gonna put the IP of the server we want to connect to. So in my case, this is the IP. Now the default port for SSH is 22. So if we don't put anything, this uh, command will try to uh, will try to connect by SSH to this IP address on port 22. And it should have uh, the SSH protocol open so that it can receive the inputs. Now if we have SSH enabled in another port, we can do um, we can do colon, and then we can just put here the port we want. Anyway, I'm using the default port, so I'm just gonna stick to my normal IP address. And if we hit enter, it's gonna ask us for a password. We'll give it a password for the server we want to connect to. And he, here we are connected to my Raspberry Pi 3. Now, this is for Linux-based uh, operating systems, Linux-based terminals. If we wanted to do this in Windows and we didn't have WSL, uh, you should install it, by the way. There's a link in the description if you want to, but if you don't, we can use this very simple program. It's called Putty. It's very simple. So, very intuitive. It has a graphical interface. You can change the colors and everything. Um, but very simply, if we wanted to connect to my Raspberry Pi again, here we would put the IP address as before. Here we can select the port. Uh, we can just leave it at a default 22, but we could change it if we wanted. And we're just gonna say open and it'll open up this other window right here. It's gonna ask us which user we want to log in. I'm gonna do Pi as well. And the ra and the Raspberry Pi password again. And here we go. It's the exact same thing. We're getting the exact same result. It's the same protocol. Everything works as it should and everything works perfectly. Anyway, that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.